Oh, hey, hope you're, hope you're doing well out there. I just had my, my cold packs out here. I'm talking actually about uh, headaches today. It's Dr. Matt here. Um, and what I wanted to share with you is some simple tips that I find useful and that patients have found useful in the past in terms of uh, managing, helping to manage headaches. Um, and you know, looking at all sides of things so that you can help yourself a little more. So cold packs, I think that's you know something easy that you can do for yourself and I've always shared just like this, right? On the front and on the back and just hanging out and a lot of times that works really well, the front and the back. Um, and also consider, I want to share with you first a little bit about um, some anatomy so you have a better understanding. But remember that what, what you practice throughout the day uh, may be a large piece of the puzzle in terms of um, the cause of your headaches and if you're under stress, even if you don't realize it. Um, but oftentimes um, all these joints and the spine that protects the nerves, if things are shifted and irritated, that may be a factor. All these nerves, a lot of them come around the head, so that'll be important. Um, and that's one of the things that we look after here in the office is addressing any shifts in your spine. Um, it may be a factor when it comes to the function of your nervous system and your spine. And they may be implicated with your headaches. So consider that. Um, also, some of the things that I really like are the soft tissue as well, um, the do-it-yourself soft tissue. And what you can do is imagine the back of your neck just like this, right? Just like this is a diamond right underneath your skull. Right? And what I'll do is I'll just fall off my skull. So here's the bottom of my skull. Fall off and I'll slightly just put some tension in there. I'll put pressure towards the spine. So I'm on my right side right now. And then I'll look down to my left knee. And I'm just putting a little bit of pressure in there. And I'll do five to seven passes focus on breathing and get right to the end range, breathe. And you can also palpate or touch different areas back into the base of your skull and go through different ranges of motion. And you may be a little bit tender, right? That's gonna be normal. So go through some ranges of motion, five to seven passes, um, and also strengthening. Right? And you can do this a few times throughout the day if you find yourself really tense and some of these muscles may be implicated in your headaches as well. And as well, um, the strengthening part, which I find useful just when you get in the car because we spend a lot of time like this. I'll show you on the spine, just like this, flexed forward right? and things may be jammed up through here. So think about strengthening some of the small paper thin muscle in the front of your neck and how I do that, I make it really easy. Whenever you get in the car, whenever you get in the car, what you're going to actually do is just push in back into the headrest, make a little double chin, count to five, and relax. Double chin, count to five, and relax. And so focus on your breathing and consider if you do that every time you get in the car, maybe a couple times a day, you can work on strengthening the small muscles, which often may help as well. So consider all those things. Consider the ice packs I find useful in uh, or giving that advice to patients as well. And also find the soft tissue, the health of the spine and the nervous system. Remember if you're shifted, you may not be aware of it. That's why it's so important to get checked by a family chiropractor, specifically a corrective chiropractor to know what's going on on the inside. And as well, making sure that you strengthen your neck so that those muscles don't get weakened keep them strong, bring all those things together and see how you make out. Anyways, if you enjoyed that, um, as I've shared with you in the past, I do appreciate your help in sharing the message. So I can't do it alone. So please take a moment if you can to share it with someone who you know may benefit from it um, or click uh, copy of the link and share it to your page so that some other people can get some benefit as well. Either way, I still love you. Okay. So I hope you're doing well out there and uh, have yourself a wonderful day. Bye for now.